everybody knows elite athletes who win gold medals and they're on TV and we see them and they're household names, but actually those athletes started somewhere early on in your career. People don't necessarily know you, you struggle for funding and also just getting the tools that you need to be a better athlete. So Sports Aid is the piece of the puzzle that fits in there where they support athletes who aren't recognised, don't necessarily have the finances to support their athletic achievements. When I was growing up there was nothing at all like TV in the Futures. I think it's a really good incentive to have because it just is another form of training for an athlete. I would have loved to have been around and understood what goes into preparing an athlete for a games and had the opportunity I think even to have media um, questions and be recorded and have feedback on that and things so I think it's just standing athletes now in better stead moving forward and I think more and more with social media and just media interest in sport generally there's a lot of pressure on athletes so I think days like this are just great to help athletes understand themselves and the world out there. Being able to be at this immersion day for young athletes is incredible because when you're doing it for real it's a pressured environment in terms of you're going to a games everything is Everything is just intense, um, even the smallest thing like picking up your kit. So actually I think if you get to go behind the scenes ahead of time and understand the process and see what happens and ask questions at that stage, when you then do it for real, it's not as daunting and overwhelming and so you kind of just take it in your stride. And athletes train all the time so that when they come to perform under pressure, everything is smooth sailing and they can take it in their stride. And this immersion camp for Team England Futures athletes is just that, so it's just another form of training. I am pumped. Birmingham is my hometown. I'm on the board of the organising committee. I'm doing some stuff with BBC. I'm doing things with um, Sports Aid and Team England Futures. So I've got lots of hats to juggle, but I can't wait to welcome the world to Birmingham. I hope that athletes go and enjoy it and just perform to the best of their ability.